Well, I look from our Fire Bureau Interstate 2 at midday and seeing traffic move along nicely. It's a lot of sunshine out there. Now, there are more high clouds as you get closer towards the coastal areas. Cameron County uh, seeing a lot of that, but they're thin enough to where it's still very bright. It kind of looks like that sun's trying to work its way through. Regardless, it's going to be a nice day out there no matter how you look east to west across the area. But you can see that little area of clouds here coming in from the south. Our high pressure is shifting off towards the east, and with that in mind, we've got the wind starting to shift around towards the south southeast and that's what's bringing these clouds in from the south and that's also going to bring in more humidity but the winds are fairly light so it's going to take a little time but there'll be enough coming in for uh, today tonight to where tomorrow morning will not be as chilly as what we saw this morning still gonna be jacket weather I think but there's your high pressure of course that means high uh, sinking air no rain very few clouds around and that's gonna be the case all the way into Friday ahead of our next cold front and even then that one's gonna be without a lot of fanfare so we'll see again those clouds kind of right around the lower valley there uh, trying to work their way up towards the north northwest but we'll see a lot of sunshine valley wide today and those temperatures working their way up to near 70 degrees then overnight tonight Tonight, the temperatures will drop back down into the lower 50. 64 degrees for the island today. Surf running a chilly 58 degrees and 2 to 4 feet. And the rip current risk is moderate for today. And that UV index is very high. As far as your wellness forecast is concerned, we still have tree pollen high. Grass is moderate. And your air quality today is going to be moderate. And I think that's going to be the case for tomorrow as well. So all of this can cause discomfort for some. So just be aware of that if you plan on being outdoors for extended periods of time today. All right, there's your high temperatures, mid 60s there at the coast, some upper 60s from Brownsville up towards Bayview, and then westward 70 to 72 degrees. I don't know why that's there. It was not there earlier, so it's just mysteriously popped in there. We're not gonna have isolated showers. Don't worry about that. South to southeast winds at about five to 10 miles per hour. The valley average high for the date is sitting at 77. And then we'll see those temperatures near 50 to 55 degrees overnight tonight, which is very close to normal, just a few degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Seven day forecast then, we've got 70 degrees today, 52 tonight as I showed you, 78 though tomorrow, closer and closer to that 80 degree mark. We'll be there on Wednesday into the 80s by Thursday, and then that next front will come through, but it's weak. So it doesn't drop our temperatures all that much. The only thing it's really going to do is shift our winds briefly around towards the north, push a little bit of drier air in, kind of lower those humidity values for a little bit. But all in all, Daisy, this is a pretty nice week ahead. Uh, we got the rain last week. That was good. It was a good soaking rain, uh, and it was a beneficial pretty much valley-wide. So now we kind of get to have a little bit of a reward here. The weekend's going to be looking great.